Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of the articular surface of the head of the femur. So I am outlining here the articular cartilage, which is quite abnormal. And then here we have the subchondral bone, which is the bone just deep to the articular cartilage. In this region, we see fairly normal appearing uh, cancellous or spongy bone. And there is some uh, fatty marrow in between the bony trabeculae. Looking at the articular cartilage, we can see that the thickness is quite variable and there is some thinning in areas. This, of course, is best appreciated at this low magnification. If we zoom in a little bit, we can also see that the articular surface is quite irregular. There appear to be some cracks or some fissures at the articular surface, and this is known as fibrillation of the articular surface. This is a feature of osteoarthritis. And in addition, there is another feature that is seen. For example, if we look at the chondrocytes, which are the cartilage forming cells, uh, we can see that in some areas, for example, here they cluster together. This clustering and proliferation is also a feature of osteoarthritis. Usually the chondrocytes occur singly. So we do have a combination of features that is suggestive of osteoarthritis. In addition, if we look at the subchondral bone, you will notice, for example, in this area and this area, that the bony trabecular pattern is quite abnormal. We don't see these nice, regular appearing trabeculae. Instead, we see some cystic spaces. These are subchondral bone cysts. And these occur because uh, of some damage, micro fractures in the articular surface, and therefore the synovial fluid is actually pushed into the bone, forming these bone cysts. So usually these will be lined by some fibrous tissue, as you can see here, and sometimes they contain synovial fluid. Therefore, in summary, this is an example of the head of the femur showing the articular surface with features of osteoarthritis. We have irregular thinning of the cartilage, we have fibrillation, we have focal proliferation of the chondrocytes, and we also have the formation of subchondral bone cysts. Thank you.